Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you watching this video. This video is well overdue. I've owed you this for at least a week, maybe two weeks, but guess what? I ran out of sea moss gel. There's no more in my kitchen and I have to make it. And I haven't had it for two days, y'all. Did I just say y'all? Okay, my Southern roots are coming out just a little bit. But what I want to share with you is the perfect way that I make it for me, and it may help you. If you've already seen a video, you can compare it to that. We're not going to be boiling it and things like that. We're going to keep it as raw in the form that it's supposed to be in, which is the gel. If you have pills and all those other things, take them because you bought them. But this is so much gooder. You know, I had a, a English teacher tell me one time that, that was a made up word. And I was like, well, all words are made up. So I can make up whatever I want. You know, I got an F in the class, but who cares? Anyway, so let's get back to the, to the making of the sea moss. Let me tell you the things that you're going to need. You're going to need a pot, any kind of pot, you know, nothing fancy. And what I want you all to do is do the best that you can. So if you see something that I have or something that I don't have, we all have to do our best. So if you have a certain type of blender, which you're gonna need, I'm not picking that thing up. I already picked it up once to take that cover photo, but it is a Vitamix or Vitamix, depending on who you talk to. It's one of the top end ones. It's not mine. Um, someone is lending me their, their blender so I can take care of the CMOS for you all today and in the future, as long as I don't break anything. Another thing you're going to need is your sea moss. This is the one that I recommend. The description is down below. If you don't have it, you don't need the Jamaican one. I would recommend you start off with the uh, Irish one because um, you might not be ready for this one yet. It's got a little bit stronger flavor. What we have here, because it's mainly me taking the sea moss, but now more people are starting to take it in my house because they've seen the results. The results are absolutely amazing. So here is, we'll call that just a, a clump. That's probably not enough, especially if you want to do it for a couple weeks. Uh, I recommend at least three weeks. I try to make more than that so I can put it in the freezer. Anyway, so about that amount. Okay, hopefully you can see that pretty good. And I drop some in the sink and I will be retrieving that because can't let our super food go to waste. So anyway, that is a lot actually, but I'll do it for, maybe I'll give out a free bottle if you're close to here and I'm asking you a qu quiz question at the end uh, to see if you can get it right and I'll give you a free bottle, okay? Anyway, about this amount, and I want you to understand that this right here is going to grow about three times as big. So whatever size bag that you get, it's going to be about three times bigger than what you have in that bag because this is going to swell. So we're going to take this and I'm just going to go through and show you how we do it. You're going to need two limes. Okay. Very important for this process. And then if you have a Brita maker or a, a Brita water, I have one on my faucet here that I'm going to be using. And then in part of the process, I'm going to be using this alkaline water. Sorry, it's a little, little bent there, but that's all right. So those are the things you're going to need. And without further ado, let's get into it. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to rinse it with the purified portion of the Brita. So now what you're going to do is you're going to clean this a little bit more thorough. Here's where that first lime comes into play. Okay. So you're going to squeeze your limes into the water. And this really helps neutralize the sea moss. It helps with the flavor and you just want to squeeze them really good. All right. So you're going to squeeze that one and you're going to squeeze this other one to go in there. And like I said, these are going to really, 
help with the flavor, especially the Jamaican. It's a, like I said, it's a little bit stronger if you've seen the other videos. All right, so what you're going to do, now that you have that in there, hopefully you can see it pretty good. All you're going to do is you're just going to thoroughly rinse this as long as you think you need to do it. I spend my time and I go through it with each strand that I possibly can. Look at that. It's already loosening up. It's beautiful, right? This is what is so amazing about this stuff is it's going to nourish your body so good. But All right, and you can even take the other portions of it and kind of rub it together. You want to bring it out. Look at that. Already, it's already like two times the size that it was when we first took out the first clump of sea moss. Okay, so you just want to kind of rinse it real good. Now, all right, so we just finished the rinse stage of making your sea moss gel. Take your time on that part. Do not rush through it. Make sure it is as thorough as you can. You can even smell it. See how it smells to you. Keep the limes in there just a little longer. You don't want to leave it in that water for too long. You want to get it into the next part of the stage, which is soaking it. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. All right, so I got my trusty uh, strainer here. I'm going to take the limes out of there and I'm going to put them in my little side bowl over here. And I'm just going to drain this water out. Look at it. It's already taken in some of the water. All right, so you're going to just let that fall into here. I guess that really wasn't necessary for me to hold it in there because this is a strainer. Anyway, so I'm going to come back over here and I'm just going to... Take my sea moss that I rinsed already, took the limes out, and I am going to put the sea moss back in there. All right. And then I'm going to fill this up with my alkalized water. Remember, I showed you that in the beginning. Hopefully you can see that. If you don't have this, don't worry about it. Just use this filtered water or whatever you can. I just want to keep as many nutrients and things that I can in the sea moss because this has worked best for me. And I just kind of fill it up right to the top that's about good right there all right and then close that bottle up there put that over there and then you're gonna throw back in your two limes and then you're gonna take that other line and you're just gonna put these in the water okay you're gonna squeeze them real good squeeze them as hard as you can if you have one of those little plunger things that squeezes it for you do that but I'm trying to uh, get my hand strength up, I guess. So squeeze those really good. Hopefully you can see that. And then even the ones that you already squeezed previously, you can kind of squeeze those again, let out some of the those nutrients as well. All right. And that is it. For okay, so now we have finished the rinsing stage. Now we're going to go into the soaking stage. This is the part where it's really, the sea moss is really going to swell to its max capacity to give you the most out of your sea moss. So you can make many different jars, however many that this is going to make. I'm going to guess at least eight. We'll see. I don't want to guess because then... I'll be wrong, but tell me what you think it's going to be in the comments down below before you watch the next part. Anyway, so you're going to take the sea moss, you're going to cover it, you're going to leave it on the counter. You're not going to put it in the refrigerator, just leave it at room temperature. It's not going to hurt it, just cover it so nothing flies into it or falls into it, dust or any of those kind of things. And here's a pro tip. Remember the pro tip that I said I'm going to give to you? So I have ordered something called Bladderac, and it is coming and is used to complement. Another thing is Gully Root. If you haven't heard of that, it's on the link in the description. If you want to get those kind of things, you can make herbal teas out of them. But you can take whatever type of tea 
or turmeric or whatever. I just choose to get the little thing and blend it in my uh, little water thing right here. I'll boil it, I'll let it cool off, and then I'll add it to the sweet moss. It just takes a little bit more time, but that's how you get, especially if you use bladder rack. If you haven't heard of bladder rack, look it up for yourself. That will make the sea moss 102 of 102 vitamins and minerals that the body needs every single day. The problem is, is that it sells out because the source that I use is natural. There's no fake stuff. It is perfect, but I'm trying to get my hands on it. If you get it, you can give me some, please. I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, so it'll be a few minutes, for, a few seconds for you guys. So I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I just finished putting the sea moss water into a thermos. Uh, if you have a glass jar, things like that, you can use it there. Again, you can use this. You can put it in your hair. You can comb your hair with it. You can massage your scalp with it. If you have uh, like dandruff, some of the things that I've seen, it works amazing for. So try it with whatever you have. If you have a question uh, and you can't find it, if I've researched it and know it, I will let you know what I think about the product, but it, it does everything. So you can't go wrong. Try it on whatever you have. Sunburn is really good for sunburn. Um, anyway, so let's get into the blender. We're almost done. Thank you for watching this video and stand with me thus far. Let's go ahead and blend it so you can see how it turns out. Okay, so I like to give it one more rinse just real quick. Uh, I'm not going to show you that because it's easy. You just rinse it. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the sea moss, the beautiful superfood sea moss, into the blender. And let's get the blending, okay? But watch how beautiful this is. Oh. <laughs> All right, sometimes I'm funny to me. Uh, not really other people, but it's whatever. Okay, so now we're gonna blend it. Give me one second. Okay, so what you wanna do before you start blending is you wanna put in whichever water you have available, whether it's purified or in a Brita or whatever the case may be. I showed you the one that I use. And typically I just pour it right up to, oh, that was almost perfect. Let me put a little bit more in there, but you wanna get it like right at the, at the top one this is going to make you a little more and if you have a blender that's not that strong you can use you know you can use a little bit more water to make it a little less clumpy uh, from my experience but uh, this is what i've seen so far and i also like to put in a couple of pieces of ice because this blender blends so fast that it will it will almost cook it will almost cook the sea moss or it will start cooking the sea moss because there will be heat. So I like to use a couple of pieces of ice. To, all right. And we're just going to place the ice cubes right on top. There we go. All right. Let's hit that blend button once I put the top on there so I don't get myself in trouble. All right. So we got our ice. We have our water. We have our sea moss. We have our blender. Let's turn it on. <laughs> All right, so we just finished blending it. It came out absolutely amazing. This is the best one that I have done to date. Matter of fact, the first person that puts in the comments below how many vitamins and minerals that this sea moss has in the comments and you're local, I will send you or bring to you a free little bottle. I'll show you here in just a minute when we put the the good stuff in there. I'll bring it to you so you can have it. Okay. This blended so magnificent, like it is creamy smooth. So let me show it to you. Okay. Hopefully you can see it. All right. So you probably, 
Oh man, I don't know if you can see in there. That is like, that is beautiful. So let me let me pull a little bit on my my little spatula here. Don't make fun of my my spatula, but it is so so creamy. That is so smooth. This is the best one, ladies and gentlemen. If you have one and it does not look like that where it just goes like that, then you got the wrong stuff. Go check it out, 10% down in the description below. You'll see it. I get a little bit, but that helps me buy more of this so I can do it so you don't have to. All right, so it's done. Creamy, smooth, the best one that I have done thus far. Follow the directions. If you have questions, you can put those in the comments below. Or if you know me, you can contact me and I'll answer you directly either way. But this is the best one. This blended up so smooth, so fast. And I was like, wow. Okay, so this is definitely the, the strategy, the recipe, whatever you want to call it, that you should use. But you can use what you want. But this is the best. So let's go ahead and put it in the little jars. Okay, so here are the jars that I use. These are, I don't know the size or the amount that goes inside, but it's, it's fairly small. Maybe you can see that. But anyway, I like these because it's easier to transport from the freezer because I know I'm, I, I think I made too much. Okay, so I'm going to have to put some in the freezer. And then once I use one, which usually lasts me about a week, that's putting it on the skin and, and different things. And the consumption is where I concentrate. But once I use one of these, clean it and then I take one out of the freezer and replace the back one that's just my little system I have CDO if you don't know what CDO is is somebody with OCD who even puts the acronym in order okay if you're like me we might be best friends I don't know anyway so I'm gonna fill these up I'll show you the end product give me one second okay so let me do the first one for you so you can see all right now if yours doesn't come out like this Look at that. That is gorgeous. I'm going to call this Purple Gold. Y'all like that name? Does that sound good? Purple Gold. All right. So I'll fill up the rest of these. I'll be back in just a second. All right. So I just finished putting everything in the little jars. I made eight of these little jars from that little bit. And I told you before, one bottle will last you about a week. So I have about two months worth of sea moss from that little piece of sea moss that I pulled out the bag. And for those of you who are worried that your sea moss was not going to last you, that little piece, and I still have a whole bag of the wonderful pure gold, purple gold is what I think I called it earlier. So eight of these, one of these belongs to you. Uh, whoever puts it in there first, you have to be local because it has to be refrigerated and I can't send it, at least I don't know if it's practical for me to send one little jar and some dry ice or whatever the process is. So anyway, if you're local, answer the question, you're gonna get one of these. I'm gonna bring it to you or we can meet uh, for you know a lunch or you know something like that. Anyway, so eight of these, four going in the refrigerator. Next uh, video, I'm gonna show you how to make the, the, the face stuff. Once this gels up, I'll make that video, so stay tuned for that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe, please share these videos. I wanna do more for uh, the people who are looking for this type of content. Hit that notification button as well because it, I'm, I may not always be able to put it out, but if you see it come up on a notification, then you'll see the video immediately. And if there's some kind of contest, who knows what the future holds, the video, notification and you answer the question after watching the video then you're going to get the prize it's so easy right could be a gift card could be some sea moss could be who knows we'll see what happens anyway thank you so much for watching the video up to this point i salute you all this is your favorite united states army veteran retired showing you how to make the best sea moss not just in the state of florida but on the planet all right, take care. Talk to you later. See you next time.